welcome back to our channel max spice raven bottom bed if you are watching our channel first time please do subscribe to our channel and in this video lecture we are going to discuss about particular integral of f of d into y equal to x sin dx or x cos dx that means if you have in rhs x sin x x sin 2x x cos x x cos 3x we are going to apply this method this formula so here particular integral is 1 by f of d into x sin dx or x cos dx the rule for this is this one we are going to use with formula just like a formula we are going to use If you have 1 by f of d sin bx or cos bx, then use this formula x by f of d into, if you have sin here, right sign. If you have cos there, right cos minus f dash of d by f of d whole square into sin dx or cos dx. So this is the formula we are going to use to evaluate the pi whenever RHS is x sin 2x or x cos 3x. What I am saying, first write this formula, you know, what is f of d in the question, this part is f of d. The differentiation of f of d will write here. Next, after writing this formula, you know, what is sin cos rule? If you have sin or cos, you are going to replace d squared by minus b squared. Wherever you have sin or cos, there you will replace d square by minus b square. So these uh, replacement after you are doing, nothing will be there, you will get here. So what I am saying, writing formula only different in uh, x sin dx, x cos dx. After writing this formula, simply what you are going to write in the place of f of d, if you have d square plus 1, you will write d square plus 1. In the place of f dash of d, you are going to write 2d, d square differentiation, d square plus 1 whole square. If you have here sin x, you will write sin. If you have there cos 2x, you will write cos 2x. If you have there sin 3x, you will write sin 3x. After writing that, apply sin cos rule. What sin cos rule says? Replace d square by minus b square. If you have sin x, replace d square by minus 1. If you have sin 3x, replace d square by minus 9. These words you need to remember now. This is called PI table. I am giving once a overview of all particular integrals. All PIs, all particular integrals we are going to discuss now. How many particular integrals we discussed it? That all PI rules. If Q of x is first one, mind. If Q of x is e power a x, e power a x. If you have, what you will do? That means in RHS, if you have e power x, e power two x, e power three x, then what you will do? If you have sine or cos, what you are going to do? If you have x power k what you are going to do. If you have in RHS e power ax into b, what is the formula? If you have the fifth one, what we are discussing now, x sin bx or x cos bx. Then what you need to do? If you have e power ax, replace, replace capital D by a replace d by 
A, write in the place of D, A. Simply write whatever, wherever you are having D, there, A value. What I am saying, if you have E power 2x, write 2 in the place of D. If you have E power 3x, write 3 in the place of D. Similarly, for sin bx and cos bx, replace, replace d square by capital D square by minus b square. Write in the place of d square minus b square. When if you have sin 2x, sin 3x, cos x, cos 2x, cos 3x. x power k. Take least degree term as common. Take least degree term as common. You need to take least degree term common if you have x, x square, x cube. If you have e power a x into b, that means here b means v may be sin, cos or x. If you have x sin x, x e power x, sin x e power 2x, cos x e power 3x, then what you need to do? Replace d by d plus a. Write in the place of d, d plus a. If you have this one, x sin bx or x cos bx, if you have this one, simply write this formula here. So these are the five rules for evaluating for evaluating particular integral of given higher order degree. Are you clear? So how you remember CF table like for three rules, three conditions, roots are real and equal, real and different uh, imaginary roots. Like that you need to remember these words. These are the initial information which you need to get whenever if you see e power ax, you need to get, you need to get that word in your mind immediately. If you have sin 2x or cos 3x, you need to get that word. If you have x in RHS while evaluating pi, you need to get that word. Like e power ax into b, that means x e power x, sin x e power x, you need to do like that. You need to start pi like this. After replacing d square by minus b square, you know. But the first step you have to get is this word has to flash in your mind. If you see e power x, sin x, cos x, for every one, you need to remember the words. That is the initial information to evaluate pi. Any doubts you may express now. Solve d square plus 4 into y equal to x sin x. For that first we need to find a complementary function. Right auxiliary equation which is f of m equal to 0, m square plus 4 equal to 0, m equal to plus or minus 2. m square is minus 4, m equal to root minus 4, root minus 4 is plus or minus 2. Otherwise you can use calculator. I said uh, how to operate Calci to solve the equation. Now, this is in this form, alpha is 0, beta is 2. To write complementary function, this is formula, e power alpha x into c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x. Here, alpha beta values are clear, this is alpha value, this is beta value. Now write, e power 0x into c1 cos 2x c2 sin 2x. e power 0 is 1. Complementary function c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x. Now we need to find particular integral. 1 by f of d into q of x. 1 by what is f of d? This one is called f of d. So 1 by d squared plus 4 into x sin x. So what is the formula we are going to use? The formula we are going to use whenever we have x sin x. The formula is 
1 by f of d x sin dx if you have x by f of d into because we are having sin sin dx minus f dash of d by f of d whole square into sin dx so here sin dx means sin x only f of d means d square plus 4 in the place of f of d write d square plus 4 in the place of sin dx write uh, sin x what you will get now pi equal to x by d square plus 4 sin x minus f dash of d differentiation of d square 2d by f of d whole square d square plus 4 whole square into sin x so when you have sin or cos you need to apply sin rule that rule you know very well replace d square by minus b square write in the place of d square minus b square in the both the cases b value is 1 if b is 1 you need to replace d square by minus 1 minus b square minus 1 square in the place of d square you need to write minus 1 if you write in the place of d square minus 1 minus 1 plus 4 sin x minus 2d sin x by minus 1 plus 4 whole square so we all know that the differentiation of sin x d sin x the differentiation of sin x is differentiation of sin x cos x this we know differentiation of sin x we can write it as cos x so 4 minus 1 3 x by 3 sin x differentiation of sin x cos x differentiation of sin x cos x minus 1 plus 4 3 3 square is 9 ok this is the particular integral next we need to write general solution general solution y equal to cf plus pi what is complementary function c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x particular integral plus x by 3 sin x minus 2 by 9 cos x so this is the general solution of the given de using x sin x rule any doubts you may express simply writing formula and substituting values nothing is there if you know sin cos rule that rule only we are going to apply after writing this formula first write this formula wherever you are having f of d they are write this one next replace d square by minus b square nothing is there easy only Solve d square minus 2d plus 1 into y equal to x cos x. To solve this, first write auxiliary equation. f of m equal to 0. Write in the place of dm. m square minus 2m plus 1 equal to 0. Which is in the form a minus b whole square. a square minus 2ab plus b square. m minus 1 whole square. Which can be written like this. m minus 1 into m minus 1 equal to 0 m equal to 1 comma 1 when roots are real and equal then complementary function c1 plus c2x into e power this value into x 1 into x which can be written as e power x form now coming to the particular integral 1 by d square minus 2d plus 1 x sin x now write the formula 1 by x cos x sorry x cos x evox x. x cos x 1 by f of d x cos x if you have 
what is the formula you are going to apply x by f of b into cos x minus f dash of b by f of b whole square into cos x so this is the formula we are going to use now here nothing we are going to do simply we are going to write in the place of f of b this value in the place of f of b we are going to write d square minus 2d plus 1 the remaining is same f dash of d is differentiation of d square 2d differentiation of d1 differentiation of 1 0 so 2d minus 2 you will get so now i am going to substitute my now we are going to substitute these values x by f of d x by d square minus 2d plus 1 cos x minus differentiation of d square 2d differentiation of d1 so 2 differentiation of constant 0 f of d whole square d square minus 2d plus 1 whole square into cos x what we need to do now if you have sin or cos replace d square by minus b square right in the place of d square minus b square so what is b value here b value is 1 in the both the cases so we are going to replace d square by minus 1 we are going to write in the place of d square minus 1 because b is 1 right minus 1 minus 2d plus 1 cos x minus 2d minus 2 cos x by minus 1 minus 2d plus 1 whole square now minus 1 plus 1 get cancelled minus x by 2 into 1 by d cos x is there minus multiply this term with this 2d cos x minus 2 cos x by minus 1 plus 1 get cancelled 4d square minus 2d whole square plus 4d square now we all know that d means differentiation 1 by d means integration with respect to x 1 by d cos x means 1 by d cos x means integral cos x dx 1 by d cos x means integral cos x integral cos x is sin x next differentiation of cos x minus sin x so here if you want you can take two common minus sin x minus cos x because you are having d square wherever you will have d square there will place minus 1 in the place of d square write minus 1 4 into minus 1 2 1 z 2 2 z so finally what you will get minus x by 2 sin x take minus common minus into minus plus again here one more minus you will have minus 1 by 2 into sin x minus cos x if you take minus common you will get plus 1 minus 1 minus another minus 3 minus you will get minus 1 so finally general solution y equal to complementary function plus particular integral what is cf c1 plus c2x into e power x minus x by 2 sin x minus 1 by 2 sin x plus cos x are you clear any doubts you may express principle is very simple 